Happy 4th of July, everybody. You may hear some fireworks throughout this video. The race car is so close to being ready, but it's not quite yet. So today I'm gonna be ranking the trans brake buttons, doing a little tier list video. I've seen a lot of these done on YouTube over the years, so I'm gonna try my best to make one myself. This one focusing specifically on top bull buttons. We're not gonna be dealing with any of those long throw, bottom bulb or super stalker buttons. This list is purely top bulb. And to be honest, there's not that many. I'm sure there's been a ton of trans brake buttons made over the years, but when I look inside of a car, I can expect to see one of a few, I guess you could call them like meta buttons. So rather than just having like a few buttons on this list, I threw in some others. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, even though it might be a little bit trolly, but uh, let's start ranking them. If you haven't seen one of these before, we have our tiers S, A, B, C, and D. With S being the best, I looked it up just so I would know it means like superior, superb. First button we have to rank is gonna be the button on my favorite practice tree of all time. This little guy, the tag systems, and this button specifically right here. I absolutely love this thing. It's super tiny. Uh, hurts my thumb after a long time, but this thing taught me how to let go of a button. There's just something about this button too. I feel like it, it gives you a better idea of what you were on the tree. Normally call my light pretty well on this thing. And I think just right off the rip, we need to slot this bad boy right up there in the S tier. Next up, we have this little guy. It's called the Standard Size Mushroom from Beyondo Racing Products. I think it's $46 off their site. And this is one of those buttons I would actually see in a car, but I don't see it that often. And the problem is I haven't used this one before. So I'm not exactly sure where to slot this thing. I don't think it's S. I don't think it's D. I don't, need, I don't think it's anything special to be A either. So I think with this one, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and slot it in the B tier. Next up, we got a classic here. We got the regular mushroom. I think it's called the Oversized Mushroom on Beyondo's page. I think it's $52. This is probably the most common button I see in cars. I use this one for my bump up and bump down, and it's a solid button. I actually have one right here, but I feel like my hand tends to, because it's domed, if I push hard enough, it might slide up or slide over unless I'm like very centered on it, but there's no denying that it's a good button. I don't think it's S though. I think it's just like overused. I think people just default to this for whatever reason. So for right now, I'm gonna slot it in the A tier. Looks like next up we have the Porta Tree button. This one to their tabletop practice tree. This is the button I practice with most and I wouldn't say it's anything special. There's a lot of room to hold it, but I feel like you have to fingertip it for it to uh, work that well. If you try to like put your whole finger over it, it just feels a little funky. Ah, it's, it's not D and it's not A, it's definitely in the B or C here. Not as good as the standard size mushroom. So I think I'm gonna slot it right here. Actually, let's put it in C. Next up we have the ultra quick micro switch. $43 on Beyondo's site. And this is a very, very good button. It's gonna be S or A for sure. I know I said I see a lot of mushrooms, but I feel like after I saw a lot of mushrooms, I saw maybe even more of this button right here. It's a pretty good size for the pad of your thumb to go in, and it's concave as well. You can adjust how far this gold cap will come in and out before it gets you get to this little click right here. Where to rank it though, I think I'm gonna put it in the A tier. Probably would put an S, but I just don't like feeling the edges of stuff that much. And it's just slightly too small to where I oftentimes feel the edge of this thing when I push on it hard. That being said, is it better than the mushroom? Probably just slightly. Next up we have this little guy that I found in the shop. And I hope my dad never used this thing because... Well, actually, I'm not even sure if it's a trans brake button, but there's just nothing good about this thing. Like it squishes down and then you can push it further and I just, you can't ever get the same pressure on it. F tier for sure. Okay, we don't have an F tier, so D tier. Next up we have this little guy right here. And I know for a fact that my dad used this, so let me go get him and see if he'll actually say something about this. To the best of my memory, I started racing in 1979. I was 16 and back then all we had was foot brake. So uh, trans brakes. To the best of my knowledge, it was the early 80s, um, trans brakes started coming out, but no delay boxes. So we all had some trans brakes. We were racing um, super classes and got some trans brakes so we could get the cars to leave harder and, and um, cut better lights. And so uh, this was one of the first trans brake buttons 
other than a cheap thing you could buy at the auto parts store that I ever seen. And Ron Muncy made them. Um, Robert Turner had this in his car. If I remember everything correctly, this is made out of some piano parts. I don't know what they would be called, but some sort of piano parts. There's a inside here. There's a little bitty pin head, and this is a very little movement in this thing at all. It's just ting, 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 ting. And so what we would do is we'd cut it off right about there where that black mark is, and um, just hang our fingernail right on the edge of that and push it down and just pop our fingernail off of it. We could get some some teens, sometimes some O's on the trans brake leaving on the on a pro tree. Robert Turner, I remember he put some small tires on his car and he could actually get some reds out of it. Very uncommon back then. Very hard to get get those kind of lights. Wish I could hook it to something to show you, but it, it's just so, so such a minute movement. It's it's unbelievable. That's on off on off on off on off. It's just basically any pressure at all would uh, activate this thing and. Uh, Hanging that fringing all off there and just sliding it off real quick. Bam, you're gone. Anyway, I might even sell it to somebody if you wanted to offer me enough money for it. With that being said, this button is clearly the best trans brake button in existence. Too good for this list. So we actually need to add a tier here. Let's go ahead and call it, let's see, God, God tier, boom. I will sell that trans brake button to whoever wants it first for $1,000. Here we have the Peeps Pennington button, which is a oversized mushroom with a tiny hole drilled in the center. The reason I have this is because this is around the time where my bumps were backwards. What the f My hand comes off. I was trying anything, and unfortunately, since they were backwards, I sucked with this, but Peeps makes it work. So I think I'm gonna slot it probably above the regular mushroom. Next up we have this light switch here that I found out in the shop. Look at this thing. This thing has got to be insane. You, you don't even have to worry about pushing or releasing anymore. You just activate the trans brake, boom, straight down. Don't have to worry about pressure. This thing is bound to be just elite. So I'm gonna actually make another new row here. Add a row below, we're gonna title it S. Plus, and we're gonna put it right there. Next up we have a starter switch. Look at this thing. You can just take your thumb or whatever finger, just slide it down to the very tip and just see the light, bam. So I think this is also gonna be very good. Just kidding, yeah, it's not good. We're putting in the D tier and okay nothing's worse than this so first in the d tier next up we have another variation of the oversized mushroom button this one is when somebody takes the mushroom and they put some velcro in the center uh, i see this a decent amount of times and it kind of fixes the problem i have with the normal mushroom and that my finger slides off so i think this modification definitely improves the mushroom but by how much i still don't think it's s tier Definitely better than the mushroom by itself. I'm gonna slot it right here. This one is called a Dead and Bear push button switch and I found it online for around $25. I wanted to go ahead and show this one because I had it and I feel like for whatever reason it has a lot of potential. It feels like when I push it to that first click, I can't push it harder and I can't push it softer. So my pressure is like the same every single time. I'm gonna have to make a new category for this one and just title it a uh, like unknown or something, but definitely something that I might try one day. Next up we have the button that's currently on my car, the Beyondo 00 button. It's $55 and I love this thing. It really does combine like all the features that I like in a button. It's a little bit bigger in diameter, so I can't really feel an edge, but it's concave, which I tend to like over the dome stuff. It's also similar to the ultra quick micro switch that you can just push it just a little bit and get that nice ting. I know I said at the track I was seeing a lot of the regular mushroom and then I was also seeing a lot of the ultra quick micro switch but for whatever reason I am seeing probably the most of the double O button right now. I, I don't know it's just it's trending for some reason and I absolutely love this button so I'm gonna put it in nest here. Next we have the snap action trans brake button and I see this occasionally in cars. I have a green one and a blue one. I believe that's the two colors they 
typically come in. And for whatever reason, this one's $55 and this one's 61. Now this one, I wouldn't say it's bad, but there's just no qualities about it that make me wanna put it any higher than any of these. The regular size mushroom maybe, but I think this one deserves probably a B tier right with it. This one is called the Dead and Bear PBS XL. Haven't used this one either, but it's $83, and just because it's $83, I think it should be in the D tier. Okay, that's a little harsh, but I don't see it being better than the Beyondo double O button in any type of way, and I don't see it at all. So without having used it, I think I'm gonna put this one in the C tier. Lastly, we have the Porta Tree Pocket Practice Tree, and I haven't used this one either, but something a friend said one time made me really suspicious of this button. It just, I don't know, just looking at it, it looks like it would make you worse for whatever reason. I'm gonna put it in the C tier. And there you have it. That is my tier list for top bulb trans brake buttons. If I'm being for real with y'all, let's go ahead and put, make this the jokes tier. Slide all these down in there. Uh, let's see. Joke, 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 and a joke. And I'd probably, obviously this one's a god tier. I will still sell it to you for $1,000 probably S plus and then let's see S tier for the concaves I love the concaves I'd probably put all three of these in A tier with the modified mushrooms being above the regular these two in the B and this one in the C and don't forget this one actually might not be a joke this one might be really good so there you have it that was my tier list for top bulb trans brake buttons in reality, I'm sure you could be phenomenal with any one of these buttons given enough time. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought, which button is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Totally forgot about this one, but uh, it looks like it belongs in the god tier to me.